Today we will be doing an art project inspired by a Christmas carol. I'm going to decide which title of the Christmas carol I want to use. Maybe Joy to the World, O Come All Ye Faithful, O Little Town of Bethlehem. You can pick any carol that works. You could even do something like Jingle Bells or Frosty the Snowman. It doesn't really matter. And then I'm going to, on my white piece of paper, draw an outline. And you can decide which way you want your paper to go. It can be sideways like mine, or it could be up and down. And you're going to divide the paper by how many lines you need. So I have a short title, A Holy Night, so I really only need two lines. If you had a longer title, you could divide your paper in three sections or four sections. Next, I'm going to draw my letters so that they touch the top line and the bottom line of the sections. And if you feel more comfortable doing this with a pencil first and then tracing it with marker, um, you can do that. I felt confident enough that I could just kind of eyeball it and make sure that my letters were spaced out enough. So. I am writing O and Holy on the top line, and then since night was a little bit of a longer word, I thought I would put that on the bottom line. But if you had something like, it came upon a midnight clear, you may want to flip your paper up and down and divide it up into some smaller sections so you can fit the letters in. I want to make sure my letters are nice and wide, so I'm actually going back and tracing over some of them just to kind of thicken them up a little bit. That really makes it so that the letters will stand out at the end and they won't just get lost in the coloring. If you're using crayons or color pencils, you don't have to use a Sharpie for this part. You could just use a regular marker and that would work too. And it doesn't have to be black, it could go with your color scheme. I'm trying to make my letters nice and thick and nice and neat. Notice I'm also using capital letters only. It's easier to get the letters to touch the top and bottom line if all of the letters are uppercase instead of a mixture of the two. Now I am adding the word night along the bottom section of my paper. I'm also making sure to keep these letters nice and thick. Each letter does need to touch the top line and the bottom line. This way they will be dividing up the sections that I will be coloring later on. Now notice for the letter T or also the letter L on the first line that I just made the line a little bit thicker at the top or the bottom so that you could tell that it was a T um, and not just an I, for example. All right, now it's time to color. So I am using a Christmas color scheme, which is red and green. And instead of just doing the two colors, I thought it would be nice to maybe have two shades of green. So I wanted to um, use a light green and a dark green and then just a regular red color. And I'm just going to do a pattern of light green, dark green, red, light green, dark green, red, um, through each of these spaces that my letters have made. And I'm trying to make sure that I color nice and neat. It doesn't have to be super dark because I will be adding some patterns on top of these colors.
You don't need to have a Christmas color scheme, but it is kind of nice to have kind of a plan or a pattern. Um, although I've, I have seen pieces that work just as well with just a variety of colors. I do try not to let two of the same color um, touch each other. So in sections that are right next to each other. So try to keep that in mind as you're coloring, especially like the H here is going to be touching um, three different pieces. So the top piece and then the two side pieces. So I'm trying to make sure that I at least have the three colors so that I can avoid having two colors touch each other side by side or the same color touch each other side by side. So at this point, I just wanted to speed up the coloring process so you can kind of get an idea. Um, so obviously my video is going quite a bit faster and I'm going ahead and filling in the rest of the picture with my color scheme. So the light green, the dark green, and the red. And I just wanted to make sure to get all of that white space filled in so that it was nice and neat. And here you have the entire thing colored. So at this point I could be done, but I thought it would be fun to maybe add some patterns um, in each of these colored sections. So I'm adding stripes or polka dots or zigzags or whatever I need to, to make the section interesting and I'm actually just using the same color so it's kind of a subtle but it gives it just a little bit more interest things to look through I'm trying to push down hard with my pencil so that it shows up a little bit more you could also try using like a crayon or a marker um, if you want the patterns to be a little bit stronger Trying to use a variety of things, cross hatching lines, floating shapes, um, different kinds of mark making so that it's interesting to look at. And I'm trying to make each shape a little bit different. So making kind of some Z's here, whatever I can think of to add some variety. As I finish up with the red section, I will call this piece a masterpiece and am super happy with how it turned out. 
I hope you enjoyed doing this with me and that you've picked a fun carol to illustrate. Please like and subscribe below if you would like notifications for more videos. All right. Thanks guys for watching. Bye.